la chaîne YouTube de Voir en Petit, également Sport en France, la chaîne nationale qui nous accompagne, et la chaîne locale Odisia Occitanie. Alors, si on a quelques-uns qui souhaitent euh, faire des photos avec Marcelin, c'est encore possible. Également, je vous rappelle, messieurs dames, que notre partenaire Turbo tient un stand dans la, la boutique et l'entrée de la piscine. Donc, n'hésitez pas à aller faire un petit tour. Également, le stand de Make Up Forever, partenaire beauté de la Fédération Française de Natation. Stand sur lequel vous retrouvez une remise exceptionnelle de 50% sur l'ensemble de la compétition. Donc, ils seront là à partir de 2h30. N'hésitez pas à aller les retrouver. Et en fin de matinée et cet après-midi, nous aurons les animations Make Up Forever où vous pouvez remporter du maquillage et bien d'autres goodies de Make Up. Donc j'espère que vous serez en forme. Allez, monsieur dames, il est maintenant temps de tourner vos yeux vers les étrangers de cette compétition pour observer nos clips partenaires. moves we see at all levels. Good timing. Absolutely superb. And amazing flexibility. Great balance. Incredible right at the end there. Lovely pictures of slow motion here. Hello and a very warm welcome to the second day of the World Cup in Artistic Swimming. 
We're in the beautiful city of Montpellier, near the Mediterranean coast, and the scene is set for further action in the Piscine Olympic Angelotti, designed by the Spanish architect Ricardo Bofill. Yesterday, we saw medals won in the solo free for women and men, along with duet technical and mixed duet technical. Today, we move on to the solo technical, followed by free duet women and mixed technical team. So in the solo event, each routine will last about two minutes. And during that time, they will have to do seven hybrids as we get a chance to have a look and recap over the mixed duet that took place yesterday afternoon. Some fabulous performances and wonderful to see so many mixed duets participating here in Montpellier. It's really growing as a sport for men, now included in teams as well for the Olympic Games. A maximum of two men can swim within a team. And indeed here, of, of course, all of the teams are mixed events. We would like to welcome the officials for this event. World Athletic Delegate, Lisa Schott. So there was great excitement with the medals being awarded to China, Xi and Zhang, and then Japan, the siblings taking the silver, and Colombia thrilled to take the bronze, 34-year-old Jennifer Sequeira Hatuska and Gustavo Sanchez. Special memories for them, but now it's back to competing mode again as well. And as I said, we move on to the solo technical. In the solos, the routines are two minutes long, of which there are seven hybrids. Five are technical required elements. So you will notice that the soloists do the same required elements for five of them, but they can swim them in any order that they like. In addition to that, there are two free hybrids where they can choose their own difficulty. We take a look at the start sheet, 23 competitors. France will be swimming last in front of the home crowd. So confirmation that Georgia will be going first. So they will be getting ready behind the scenes. Out of the five technical required elements, the athletes can choose whether they do an A or a B for that element. A is the most difficult. B is easier, but perhaps they executed a lot better and it's down to the coach and the athlete to decide. The difference between the degree difficulty of A and B is normally around 0.3 apart from the first required element which is actually um, a, a difference of 6. And we move straight on with the first athlete, 16-year-old, Mari Alavidze from Georgia. Twenty seconds allowed for the walk-on, and then you will hear the whistle. She's choosing to start in the water. That's entirely down to her. difficult 
two rotations on that spin. And now into one of the three hybrids. Rotations level seven and five in that, out of a maximum of nine. Beautiful lines, extension in the feet. Good execution. The combined spin followed by continuous spin. Wonderful flexibility, this second free hybrid. Showing explosive power on the arms. Maximum height needed on the bent knee. A very expressive performance there from Mari Alavidze from Georgia. Her theme was a strong woman because the music makes her feel that way. Fabulous choice. Really suited her. Very expressive. She was a finalist at the European Championships last year in the free solo and started with this choreography later in the year when the new rules were determined. So when it comes to judging, there are two panels. One panel look at the elements, so they give a score for the execution of those elements. The other panel looks at the artistic impression. So the choreography, the musicality, the presentation and the transitions. This was really good just managed to get in the two rotations but showed excellent height at the top in addition to the two panels of judges we also have technical controllers who view the coach's card which is completed before the athletes swim they check that the coach's card is as per the right difficulty 19.30 and that is indeed the same so that's 174.0501 as a total elements 96.9541 And from the 16-year-old, we move on to the 30-year-old Marlene Boyer from Germany. Very experienced indeed. She is starting with a difficulty of 19. And this is her lost love, how the memories are still very present. She thinks that they're feelings that everyone can associate with. Went for the higher option on that with the two rotations, but not executed terribly well. She didn't give herself enough time to get in those rotations. The free hybrid. Good difficulty of 4.15. 
And now the combined spin, trying to keep the spin going until the very top, followed by a continuous spin. So many rotations. Second free hybrid placed right at the end to get bonus points. And a good strong finish there from Marlene. Some high level rotations. There are nine different levels that the athletes can go for. Most of those rotations were seven. So starting with a high thrust level nine, which is the maximum, but now they will need to review that. The difficulty technical controllers will review the solo to see whether on the technical required elements, whether anything needs to drop to a zero if it wasn't completed correctly. And on the free hybrid, whether it needs to go to base mark. And I'll talk a little bit about that a bit more a bit later. So Marlene's goal is to be selected for the World Championships to swim the solo. There are three soloists from Germany taking part at this World Cup and I'm sure that's part of the overall um, selection process. She was sixth at the European Championships last year and is currently ranked tenth in the world in the free program. So there is going to be a technical review, as, as I thought. So these are going to be anxious moments for her and her coach, Doris Ramadan. So it gives me an opportunity to talk a little bit about base mark. So as I said, with the technical required elements, if they're not deemed to be done correctly, they get a zero just for that element. On the free hybrids, if they're not done correctly, they have to revert to a base mark score. And that base mark is based on the time that they spent underneath the water and the number of movements that they did within that time. So number of movements for, to get the maximum score on that would be more than 30 and time underwater is more than 16 seconds for the maximum. You can do different levels. It does make a big, big impact though if you have to go from a free hybrid to a base mark as we get to see the scores now. 152.953 and degree difficulty just a slight reduction 15.95 from a starting point of 19. And now we have the current European champion, Marta Fedina, going for a very difficult 26.75 routine, the 21-year-old. Disappointing day in the free program yesterday, finishing sixth, because on a number of her elements, they did reduce it to base mark. That's the risk you take if it's very difficult. This is her bird of liberty. This free hybrid is extremely difficult and so far executed beautifully. 
seven point seven on the degree difficulty assigned. Extra bonus if they travel more than one meter. Very good height on this side. Combined spin followed by continuous. So much grace. Really caught the bent knee well. And a beautiful performance there. So much grace, so much strength. After a disappointing day yesterday, she really has come back. Obviously, the controllers need to check it against the coach's card. But that last hybrid with a difficulty of 5.35, right at the very end, a combination of rotations that's up to a level seven. She really is a superb athlete. Current European champion, world silver medalist. A lot of these athletes now working for the world championships later this year as they build up to a second world in early February next year and the Olympic Games. Her flexibility, the height that she has, the strength, the extension, particularly in those feet, she really is a superb athlete. Love watching her. She really does go for maximum height. She won gold in Markham at the first World Cup when it was held in Canada a few weeks ago. Her score then was 245.2917. And she's increased that, a wonderful score, 263.3083. 27.25 as her degree difficulty. Congratulations to Marta Fidina. What a fantastic solo that was. She has set the bar so high. Introducing to number four, Nana Lyon from Germany. And now the second of the soloists from Germany, Clara Blair, the 19 year old. Her theme is going to be the feeling of dancing. Music, Coffee by Sylvain Esso. She just loves music and dancing and wants to combine both of this with her artistic swimming. Again, dropped a little bit too much before the two rotations. Look at the free hybrid with travel. Some nice unbalanced moves to increase the difficulty. Combined spin, 
three rotations down, three rotations up, and then three rotations down again. Half twist in the fishtail. Two spins. Swordfish straight leg into the split, up to fish tail, round to night. Very well executed, very clean. the thrust and the hold there above the knees that's maximum difficulty in this last free hybrid a very impressive swim there from Clara Blair started with an assigned degree difficulty 22.40 so again her goal will be to hopefully represent Germany in the solo at the world championships she is younger. She finished eighth in the free program at the Junior World Championships that were held in Canada last year. Finished seventh in the free program yesterday, which was the top of the German competitors. She was very precise on the required elements. I did feel she dropped a little bit too much on the very first spin, the 720 spin. If you get a lot of height on the thrust, it's very difficult to control that down. Making full use of maximum difficulty on some of these moves. The new required elements for this year, a score of 163.0501. Slight deduction, it looks like, on the degree difficulty that that originally planned. So that puts her in third place. Congratulations to her and her coach, Stella Mukamadeva. Introducing Solomon 5, Richard Zimmer from Germany. And the third swimmer from Germany. They've all been drawn in the top five, coincidentally. It is a completely free draw. But this is Michelle Zimmer. Her music is Only You or Nerdy by a German singer songwriter, Philippe Poissel. 26 years of age. So hard to start with that thrust and two rotations. the height she got there. Very definite on the moves. She gets ready for the combine spin count them. It should be three down to the ankles and a three up and then three more rotations.
another two rotations on this required element. Flexibility level six and two free hybrids right at the end. Another beautiful performance. She really feels that music. Very expressive throughout. The last free hybrid had, as you could see, a lot of rotations in it, but it rotations with bringing the legs down after each 360. That seems to be a very popular choice at the moment because it does increase the overall difficulty if you do a lot of rotations because there's more risk in it but it's down to the judges to determine whether it is artistic enough or whether it's too repetitive I'm not saying for Michelle that that was too repetitive but it seems to be a popular choice at the moment to try and get the difficulty up and of course all of these athletes putting a hybrid right at the very end so they get maximum bonuses as well for placement in the last 20 seconds. Really enjoyed that performance. It's a new routine for her. It's the first competition swimming that routine. Coached by Stephanie Marks. Lovely shots, the eyes keeping open all the time so they can see which way they're facing. As you can imagine, it's very blurred underneath the water. And when the water is all the same depth, it's incredibly difficult on these spins to know just how far you have rotated, especially when it comes to the combined spin followed by continuous. Bringing artistry into it. But I thought that the, the musicality was very good for that performance. She really did try to go for height as well. So Marlene Boyer from Germany, she scored 152.9 of 5H3. Only the top one can be in the rankings. The other two are here for experience. So she will be 145.1080. So 145.1. Degree difficulty 15.15. Slight drop on the original degree difficulty. And next to swim, we have Kate Shortman from Great Britain. Her theme is The Fire Within. Music by Jennifer Thomas and The Rogue. And she's going to be starting with a very difficult 6.75 free hybrid Wonderful. Great start. A little bit of a twist at the end of these two rotations. Very good height. Lovely alignment.
Uh, the combined spin, nicely executed, followed by the continuous spin. Really using her body on all of these arm movements. Good musicality. Great difficulty, 6.25 with travel and placement bonuses. Excellent performance there from Kate Shortman. She's really here wanting to fight for a medal. Very impressed with her first free hybrid. She was maximum number of movements and time underwater. She had a T9 in it, so that's a thrust nine maximum level and a lot of rotations, level seven and five along with airborne weight and flexibility of six. So again, maximum, this is the flexibility of six here. So unbalanced moves on these rotations, that adds to the difficulty. See how hard the legs and the arms work underneath the water as she does the rotation round into the fishtail, good height. That's what the execution judges are looking for. You need to be mid-thigh or higher when two legs are out of the water to get the high scores. If you're only just above the knees, then it would just be sort of around about a, a six-five. But she certainly wasn't. Look how those arms are working to do the ascending and descending spins. Wonderful to watch. You should try that next time you're in the pool. Trains in Bristol with Karen Thorpe and Yumiko Tomamatsu. Really good facilities at the Hengrove Leisure Centre in Bristol. 242.10. And that's good enough to put her in a second place at the moment. Excellent swim. And now the current world champion and gold medalist in the solo free yesterday, we have Yukiko Inui from Japan. This is the life of a droplet by Hideki Togi. A drop of water becomes a stream. The movements get stronger with flow and swell. There'll be rough waves. She loves the water and wanted to express this. Good thrust and hold. This is an 8.05 on difficulty. Incredible. Just managed to get the 720, but there was a lot of twisting at the bottom instead of spinning. Wonderful body alignment on the spins.
and the 6.95 difficulty free hybrid. A lot of rotations in that, but as you can see, the legs coming down each time, but plenty of rotation sevens to add to the difficulty. Wonderful performance there from Japan. So the current world champion, but at the last World Cup, a few weeks ago, she actually finished just behind Marta Fedina at that time. She had the highest difficulty. But on execution, a slightly missed out. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the scores compare today. So Marta Fedina has set the standard and the bar very high, 263.3. Zero. That's the score that Yukiko Inui will be after. Her aim was to get gold in the technical and the free program here. Well, she certainly did in the free program. Competed in three Olympic Games, the 32-year-old. And, of course, will be swimming, swimming in her home country when the World Championships are in Fukuoka in July this year. Coached by Maseo Imura, who has coached artistic swimming, believe it or not, for 50 years. He's been to 10 Olympic Games. So they will be analyzing this. I've seen her do the element, the thrust continuous spin with two rotations. I've seen her do that better, but there is no doubting the difficulty that is packed and the height that she gets. See, with one leg, should be the whole leg out of the water. With two legs, higher than mid thigh if you want to compete at the very highest level. So 242.79 was her score the last World Cup. But today, she needs to score 263.30 in excess of that to have any hope of winning the gold. And that was her aim. Marta Fadina currently first, followed by Kate Shortman. Great Britain, Mary Alvarez from Georgia, and Clara Blair, currently fourth with 163.0501. Wow, 282.25, massive degree difficulty, 29.20, so as it was expected from her original coach's card. Sara Sanovic, Sanovic from Serbia, the 16-year-old. So we've gone from a 32-year-old, halved it to the 16-year-old. Her theme is Spanish love story. This is her first international as a soloist. Looking forward to seeing this. Choosing the B option on some of these required elements. So that just had to be a 360 rotation after the thrust. And combined spin will be two down, two up, two down.
slightly off alignment on the bent knee. Now back to the A option. to keep it moving here she almost looked like she had forgotten what comes next and maybe got a bit lost as she moves into the swordfish and her final free hybrid 180 rotations Getting great experience here in her first international. And it was right that she went for some of the B options on some of those required elements. These technical elements are incredibly difficult to do. She's only 16 years of age. So she needs to build her strength and build confidence and get used to swimming in front of crowds and in front of the judges. I enjoyed the performance, I liked the music, I think she has real potential for the future. But of course her difficulty will be down. About a difference of about, well, it's 0.6 on the first required element, down from an A to a B, and on the others, a difference of a three. But there's no point in doing the harder ones if you can't do them and you end up getting zeros. There just needs to keep that body aligned, that core strength really tight. Oh gosh, it's easy for me to sit here saying that, isn't it? It is so, so difficult. These, uh, these routines, I have complete admiration for every single one of them. Voici le thème de ce solo, Spanish Love Story, une soif d'amour espagnole. So, good to see the premiere of her new solo. She is in the third grade at Medical High School. And uh, we'll be working very hard with her coaches, Svetlana Kontik and Tiana Todorovic, who did the choreography. so clear aren't they the images underneath the water it's good height with one leg just needs to hold it steady now they wait for the difficulty technical controllers to analyze it so when it comes to the elements the judges give seven separate marks, yeah, the element judges, and uh, that is then multiplied by degree difficulty. So slight reduction in degree difficulty, sixth place at the moment, 102.1291. Introducing solo number nine, Yasmin Verbena from San Marino. So next we have Jasmine Verbena from San Marino. Her routine theme is classical elegance, music for seasons. Look out for her two free hybrids. They're both maximum time underwater and maximum number of movements. So uh, high degree difficulties on those two. Yeah, a little bit of twisting on the two rotations instead of spinning. The first of the free hybrids.
good changes of direction and off balance. Nice and steady on all those rotations, good speed throughout. Steady with the vertical leg, that was good. Game dropped a little bit too quickly at the beginning of the spin. Lovely musicality. Into the final free hybrid. Beautiful choreography. I mentioned the musicality a moment ago, but that's what really stood out for me. Really nicely synchronized with the music and very expressive with the music as well. It's music she's used before, but new choreography to work with the new rules. She's very determined and passionate about artistic swimming as all of these athletes are. She did qualify for the finals at the European Championships last year, finishing overall ninth and then 15th in the World Championships. It's been a busy time for these athletes. That's going to continue over the next couple of years as we embed these new rules into the sport. Love seeing this body alignment Shoulders should be in line with hips. Not too much arch in the back. And those arms, can you imagine how hard those arms are working to get to the height and rise up on those spins? It's a very technical sport, but it is so, so beautiful to watch. So a technical review, as, as you may have heard, really good height there. The idea is that you should try and get right out to your armpits when you're doing a dynamic move like that. That's when you're upside down. And when you are head first, then you should get try and get thighs out. So currently in first place is Japan, Nikiko Inui, massive 282.25 H3, winner of the gold medal yesterday as well. Second, Ukraine, Marta Fidina with 263.30 H3. And then Kate Shortman from Great Britain, currently lying third, 242.1042. It looks like she has had deductions. She started with a degree difficulty of 26.10, so 133.15 in sixth place. And now we welcome Anna Kulic from Malta, the 19-year-old. Sixteenth at the European Championships last year, 23rd at the World Championships. A youngster coming up through the ranks.
very difficult first hybrid with travel as well. Nice height before the start of the rotations. Maybe dropped a little bit too quickly and now needs to keep the levels moving up. And a bit of twisting on the continuous spin. And choosing the B option here. So one rotation and nicely executed. required element this is the same you can't choose a or b on that particular element difficulty of 3.2 Slightly fell off the vertical line there into a flexibility level six for her last hybrid. Well, getting bonuses for travel in the first hybrid and placement in the last hybrid. Nice choice of music, Sweet Dreams. I think it suited her. The musicality was good. As she grows in confidence, the presentation will perhaps come out a little bit more. And don't forget, of course, that the transitions are also very important for the artistic impression score. There was a nice hold there, just slightly wobbly on the spins at the moment. And that's probably why she went for the B option on the spin after the high thrust. But nice body alignment, good explosive power and really good height before she started that spin. so so hard oh, this uh, six, element so she started with a degree difficulty 21.80 now 16.65 seventh place 129.65 and a one point penalty As we move on to Iris Tio Casas from Spain. The 20 year old, her theme is fire. The movements to show how fire can affect everything. This will be expressive. Fabulous height, really using the water. Oh, slightly fell sideways, had to really work hard there. Beautiful descending spin. And lovely as she rose up and down again, really nicely performed. Eight times rotations, level seven.
fell off the rocket split. Split was okay, but the joint of vertical wasn't. That will affect the execution score. And a 6.5 degree difficulty free hybrid to finish. She likes the rotation level seven, that's for sure. Her solo is packed full of them. But when it comes to the artistry, it's important to also look to make sure that there is variation in the performance as well. It shouldn't be too repetitive on the number of rotations and the level. Although there is a bit of flexibility within each level as to what you can do. So, I mentioned about penalties earlier, and I mentioned that uh, there was a one-point penalty for the swimmer for Malta. There's various reasons why that can happen. It may be that the 10 seconds deck work was exceeded. Maybe the time allowance for the routine wasn't right or the walk-on time not adhered to. So I'm not sure what it was on this. As we get a chance to see the control on this, had to fight really hard on those two spins. Finished sixth in the free solo at the World Championship. Family is very musical. This solo is new for the season. She's been working very closely with Mayuko Fujika, her coach, to pull this together. And I'm sure they will both learn an awful lot from this performance and from watching all of the others. So she moves into third place. Degree difficulty was the same as assigned. Elements 168.75. So overall in a third place for the soloist from Spain. And now the soloist from Aruba, Kira Hervets. Her theme is a marvellous creature. She says that she really wants to be as artistic as possible, even though it is a technical routine. Her two free hybrids will be right at the end. You can start with the rocket split. Catching just above the knee could have been higher. Lovely speed, beautiful on the musicality.
What a stunning performance there from Akira. There are some routines that when you watch them, you're just taken away with the music and the choreography and the musicality. And that was one of them. I had tears in my eyes at one point. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Is it the most technically difficult compared with some of the others? Well, maybe not. But she tried to get the artistry across and I think she absolutely did do that. And to put the final two required elements right at the end, the free hybrid, sorry, that, uh, that takes a lot of strength to be able to do that. Overall, the degree difficulty is lower than some of the others at 22.50, but that is one of the solos I will certainly remember afterwards. I thought she really worked well with the music. She was very expressive. She used the water. She traveled well around the pool. So she had a lot of real positive things in that performance. Coached by Elia Brandimod, an ex-swimmer herself. So congratulations to her on the choreography as well. She's aiming to qualify for the Pan Am Games in Santiago later this year and will be competing in the Central American and Caribbean Games in June to hopefully qualify. Wants to make finals as well at the World Championships. Coming round very quickly in Fukuoka in July. A challenging routine for her. Going for all A in the technical required elements. But a beautiful and expressive routine. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Technical controllers, you can see at the bottom of the screen, analyzing the performance. Always an anxious wait for the athletes just standing there with their coaches or coach on this occasion. But uh, whatever the result, she should be very proud of that performance. So, yes, yeah, slight deduction on the degree difficulty and the elements were down. As I said, the technical, not so good, but artistic. I really like the routine, 153.31. Introducing solo number 13, Victoria Kajova from Slovakia. So the bronze medalist in the solo free program yesterday, Victoria Rajkova from Slovakia, takes the stage. Her theme, Broken Heart, about a woman who finds strength to let go of her partner, even though she still loves him deeply. Rising up on the levels. Lovely into the swordfish.
very long free hybrid. Again, lovely artistry to the music. Her coach chose the music, and when she heard it, she absolutely loved it. And that makes a very big difference to how you then perform on the day, if you can really feel that music. Lovely choice for her. Finished 11th at the European Championships last year, so made it through to the finals. But was absolutely delighted to take a bronze medal yesterday in the free program. She's another very expressive swimmer that I really love to watch. Coached by Christina Thalassinidou, herself a six times European medalist along with Marina Kukanova. This is her second outing this year to the World Cup. She did swim in Canada where she finished seventh. Her score then was 164.5291. But I'm sure that her results from yesterday must have really inspired her for today's performance. So currently, Japan lying in first place. We look at the scores for Victoria Rykova, fifth place, 199.70. Degree difficulty, 23.75, exactly as per the coach's card. Competitor number 14, Emma Grovner from Switzerland. The theme? It, this routine is Changes by David Bowie. She's always loved the music and she just felt that with all of the changes going on at the moment in the sport of artistic swimming, it would be the perfect time to swim to it, which I thought was a great idea. Emma Grovner from Switzerland. Lovely, continuous spin. Good amplitude on the free hybrid. Highest difficulty then after the high thrust, stopping above the knees and then going into a lot of rotations. Leg flow a little bit more on the uh, swordfish movement. Mm -hmm. 
Good height. That was Changes by Emma Grosvenor. Started with an assigned degree difficulty 23.10. She really has embraced all of the changes. She feels that so she knows that she has to, but also she wants to. It is uh, really positive for the sport that everything now has that assigned degree difficulty and technical control is looking at that so the judges don't need to worry about the difficulty and in the duets and teams on the synchronization that has been taken out away from them so they just focus on either the elements or look for the artistry good explosive power really tight on the pike there before the thrust one rotation and then the second rotation was definitely a twist rather than a spin. It's a fine line where the thumb should go for the A or B because it's very, very difficult to do the spin down with two rotations after being so high. Good height on the two leg vertical in stable position before the spin. body alignment they mustn't pike they mustn't arch too much either she has a nice straight back it's right up at the surface on the split slightly fell off the vertical line there skull rotation having to really concentrate which way you're facing when you're rotating so much so you don't lose your bearings and then get back up to the surface and continue as quickly as possible trying to be as neat as possible underneath the water as well Keep the height with one leg. It could have been a little bit higher there. Coached by Tanya Rod Rodkospica, 21 years of age. Slight reduction on degree difficulty. Total score 164.85. The 15th soloist, Vasiliki Alexandri, winner of the silver medal in the solo free. Coach card with a degree difficulty 27.50. And her theme is the road to success. Music, Mount Everest. Going to a very high degree difficulty now. 7.3 on the free hybrid. much difficulty and well executed <laughs> 
she really is so strong on these technical elements. Three rotations by the ankles. Excellent combined and continuous spin. Good musicality. Body. Excellent time underwater number of movements in that last hybrid and really good originality finishing with a 6.7 degree difficulty with bonuses for placement the coach card had a difficulty of 27.50 making it the second hardest of all of the routines that we're seeing today just behind yukiko inui she took the silver yesterday if she wants the gold today, the score's got to be higher than 282.2583. And Marta Fedina, second place at the moment, 263.3083. So top three, Spain currently in third, just ahead of Great Britain. And a score of 254.6542 is third place, just ahead of Kate Shortman. But a really strong performance there. Her aim is to get a medal at the World Championships. She got a bronze in the European Championships last year. And as I say, a silver in the free program yesterday. Works incredibly, too hard, incredibly hard with her two sisters, the triplets. 25 years of age, sisters swimming in the duet event. But she wanted to show with this routine, no matter what the hurdles are, you can always rise to the top. Very good choice of music for her. The choreography and the musicality really worked well. Some interesting transitions and originality in the three hybrids. Has she done enough to get another podium place? Love the unbalanced moves that she does. As you can see the body twisting a little bit to balance with the legs being off vertical. The legs are behind, then the body arches, the legs to the side, the body goes to the side to balance it out as much as possible. So anxious moments, taking quite a long time. And that's very disappointing for her. The degree difficulty has been reduced. Fifth place, 213.39. Five, eight. And yet you can see the disappointment. She wears her heart on her sleeve. She will need to analyze that to understand. They can review these scores afterwards if they feel that they have been unjustly penalized. As we move on to Thailand, the 18 year old Petrari Chayawararak. Music, Ring Around the Roses, the theme, horror. <laughs>
showing travel. Has to be a minimum of one meter to get the bonus. Nicely into the swordfish. Keep the leg solid, the vertical leg. Lovely height, but just fell off the uh, the vertical. Height needs to be and hold that leg steady, keep the core tight. Choosing to go for a slow spin for the musical interpretation. And just the one rotation, but very brave to put the thrust, followed by the spin right at the very end. Just slightly fell off it backwards. So the execution on some of the required elements, she will be looking at this and analyzing them. Just needs to hold that body a little bit steadier on some of them. I really like the choice of music and uh, the overall performance was, was good. She's only 18 years of age. It's one of the easier routines, but when I say easier, still very difficult. Really lovely height on the thrust and explosive power on the arms. Arms working hard in support skull. Needs to be careful the shoulders don't go too far back. It's very hard to control it if the body isn't aligned. But that was really good on the thrust. But... Uh, Looked a little bit unsteady as she held that vertical before the bent knee. But good that she's trying some of these harder degree difficulties up to the maximum of nine on the thrust. Coached by Claudia and Massimo Tapparelli. And they're certainly putting some challenging movements into this performance for her to work on. It's a new routine. So really good to have the opportunity to see it here at this World Cup. So once again, the controller is having to analyze everything. You can see on the left of your picture that uh, the athletes for the team events are still training hard. So this end of the pool is for competition. The other end is for athletes to be able to go in and practice their moves. They work so, so hard. Six to eight hours training a day is normal for an artistic swimmer. And that's pretty much all year round, apart from maybe a short break for holidays. You have to be incredibly fit. You have to be able to have so much strength as well. So on top of being in the water training for about four hours a day and getting all of the moves perfected, there's a lot of gym work. There's now a lot of acrobatic work as well. 12th place, 14.10 on the degree difficulty, so slightly reduced, 132.3708. So 
for artistic impression 62.25, which is for 132.3708. J'appelle le solo numéro 17, représentant la République tchèque. Introducing solo number 17, Aneta Mbassola from Czech Republic. Aneta Ravkova from the Czech Republic, the 22-year-old, next to swim. Music for this performance as she can really show her soul and her power. The theme, untold power. Now look for the height and the two rotations. Straight into the combined spin, three rotations down, three rotations up, continuous spin, three rotations. Tier 5.2 for the free hybrid. Nice presentation to the judges at the end. Again, I'd like to see a little bit more flow on the swordfish rather than stopping halfway and adjusting the arms underneath. Change of directions on these rotations. Seem to finish slightly behind the music then. But good variety with uh, flexibility, lots of rotations, as, uh, as we're seeing is a theme really, isn't it, in a lot of these performances when it comes to the free hybrids. She has competed extensively internationally since the European Junior Championships back in 2018. But uh, normally she swims in duet rather than solo. And her aim is to hopefully qualify for the Olympic Games next year in the duet. Finished ninth in Markham at the World Cup earlier this year. She had pretty good high difficulty but lower extension element scores on that occasion. She scored 127.2167. So for continuous improvement, that will be the score that she is looking to beat today. That's the stop that I personally like to see a bit more fluid in the swordfish move. Very hard to do to not have the stop, but uh, it, it would be great if they could do it. Need to make it obvious whether it's a vertical line or slightly off vertical. But overall, a very nice performance there from Aneta 
Maskova. Started out with a degree of difficulty of 23.80 and it stays like that. 195.6709, a seventh place, but a very big improvement on her last swim. Now the 18-year-old Audrey Lemot from Canada took a bronze medal. Scored 196.2833 in Markham. The theme is love story. Lovely height on the catch. hybrid the T9 I felt the thrust maybe should have been a little bit higher before the hold but certainly the hold was very high beautiful fabulous leg extension that vertical leg steady. Presenting it beautifully to the judges. And finishing with a T9 in the final hybrid, the thrust nine, which is the maximum level. That's a degree difficulty of five right at the very end. And of course, bonus for the placement, certainly getting a good reception from the crowd here in Montpellier. She really wanted to showcase artistry and elegance, and she absolutely did do that. She is an incredibly hard worker. She's still at school. She's only 18 years of age and uh, needs to combine all of her training with her schoolwork as well. And uh, she manages that incredibly well. You often find that with these athletes. If they're very busy at school or university, they have to be very, very organized as well when it comes to their training. New choreography started the routine in February, fifth at the Junior World Championships, also held in Canada and hosted a couple of very good events recently. The team there always worked incredibly hard and so pleased to when they are awarded the opportunity to host these big events. Tenth at the World Championships held in Budapest last year. So already a world senior finalist, even though she's swimming as a junior, just 18 years of age. Yeah, I felt there that I wasn't sure that that was really a thrust before the hold. But uh, they seem very, very pleased with the scores. 219, that's a massive improvement since her last swim at the World Cup. Excellent scoring there and fifth place 
J'appelle le solo numéro 19 représentant la Finlande. Introducing solo number 19, Ola Putinen from Finland. And another 16 year old, Una Polkinen from Finland. Here, really, to get experience of swing in front of the judges and the crowd in a senior competition. Very difficult. Beautiful. That was a lovely transition. Going for the B op opportunity here. So just two rotations down, up, and then down again. I say just is still very difficult. Rocket split without rotation. Just missed the vertical line. Quite difficult to know the direction on that rotation when you're doing it diagonally. Good travel across the pool. Oh, oh, very difficult to fit in the 360 spin when you don't start in a good vertical controlled line. She did very, very well to control that at the end because she completely missed the thrust, getting that steady, lovely line before doing the 360 spin. I felt that that was a bit of a nervous performance and yeah, I'm not surprised. She really doesn't have the experience of the others. So 16 years of age, swimming in a senior competition, all credit to her. Her theme was happiness of dreams. And she said, you should never give up on your dreams at all. Music from Two Steps from Hell. I'm sure she has very big dreams as to where her future career will take her in artistic swimming. She really is a delight to watch. Just needs to get the technical side of the sport and work on that. And her coach, Ria Peltonen, will be absolutely aware of that. And it's one, one step at a time, isn't it? Especially when you're only 16 years of age and swimming for the first time in an international competition. So congratulations to her, but look at how she had to control this. I tell you, a lot of people would not have been able to get that 360 spin in. 16th place, 117.53. Degree difficulty stays as per the coach's card at 15.90. And now Karina Magropova from Kazakhstan, 20th out of a total of 23 swimmers participating. Her theme 
is Sakhmet, the goddess of war, because she loves Egyptian mythology. Hi, on the rocket split then. Getting artistry into the performance. Picking up the theme of the music. Three rotations down have to be before the ankles and on the continuous spin that carries on right through to underneath the water. Difficult to see just how many spins she got in there because it flicked from above the water to under the water but she looked like she dropped quite a lot at the beginning, but then straight into a thrust level nine, stopping above the knees, and a series of rotations. And a thrust level one to finish. Getting the bonuses for the placement. Going for her hardest free hybrid at the end of the performance. She's preparing, in addition to the World Championship, she's preparing for the Asian Games, which are taking place in China. They will take place after the World Championships. So she certainly has a busy year ahead of her. Finished eighth at the Junior World Championships last year. Works very closely with her coach, Oksana Oskis Vicha Eva. You can see the underwater speaker in the background just going out of shot. Good body alignment. Chin tucked in slightly. Really beautiful to watch the technique. Good height at the beginning here. Dropped pretty quickly in the middle section. And that was one rotation as a spin and one rotation as a twist. It should really be two rotations as a spin. So, yeah, there is a technical review while the judges look at that. She started with a degree difficulty of 24.45 on the coach's card. I've only been doing this solo for two months, which isn't long at all in artistic swimming. It takes a long time to build the choreography. Slight reduction on degree difficulty and on the element score down a little bit, but uh, routine score putting her in 10th place. Introducing solo number 21, Antonia Maria Aïssoa from Chile. And 
Antonio Mella from Chile, 21st competitor out of 23. Another youngster, 17 years of age. And she is going for the Barracuda 720 spin early. Her music is voila. <laughs> Another spin twist. But the important is, thing is to get the rotations in so you don't get a zero. Strong difficulty on the free hybrid. Plus level nine, followed by rotations fives and sevens. Slightly lost the body alignment on the vertical. Slightly off vertical, which makes this hybrid very difficult to do. Beautiful choice of music. She expressed it well, but seemed to have a few problems with her elements today on those verticals. She had to work extremely hard to hold on to some of them for all of those spins. But don't underestimate just how difficult they are and how nervous these swimmers can be before they get in the pool. It's an awful lot of expectation before they swim based on how much training they've done. But they have a fabulous coaching team to help them manage that. So Marcia Schweitzer, she does coaching and the choreography, along with coaching by Irina Rodriguez and Patricia Cameron. So she does get extremely tired after all of the continuous spin elements, the combined spin. She does a total of 10 spins in total. But all she wants to do is make her coaches and her family and the team proud and she wants to enjoy it. So I very much hope that she did. It's a new routine. She unfortunately broke her foot so couldn't compete at the Junior World Championships last year, which was going to be a real shame because that was going to be her comeback after three years. But good to see her back in the pool and fully recovered from that. Technical controllers looking at the video to analyse some of it. Then once we have the scores, we will move on to the final two routines in the solo women and then there'll be a short break and at 11 o'clock CET Central European time we will start with the solo technical for men so there will be just a very short break but pretty much flowing straight the way through
So when there are delays like this, it's never easy for the next competitor waiting in the sidelines to walk on. They would have been fully prepared. They would have done all of their stretching, all of their warming up, and they need to keep in the zone even though they are having to wait a little bit. I'm sure as these new rules are embedded more as well, they will um, start to speed up a little bit on these technical reviews, but they are very, very important indeed to make sure that the score is absolutely right. So my apologies for the slight delay that we're seeing here. But as I say, it's got to be the correct score for the swimmer. So these things can't be hurried too much. If the difficulty is deemed to be different from the coach's card, then the coaches do have 30 minutes in which case, in where they can appeal to have a review done. So 10th place, 21.3, that was the degree difficulty on the card, 173 is her total score, just over the 10th place. So the penultimate swimmer, about to walk out after a little bit of a delay. And representing Slovakia, Kiara Dickey, 19 years of age. Her theme is Hush. Straight into the combined continuous spin. And now the high thrust with two rotations. Nice height on the thrust. But again, we're seeing spins followed by twists. Bonus points for traveling. Nice speed on the rotation to the night. The beautiful performance of Hush by Chiara Dike from Slovakia, just 19 years of age. We'll be competing at the European Junior Championships later this year and building 
towards the World Championships in 2024 as well. Came ninth in the free program at the Junior European Championships last year. Coached by Monica Thorin Grover. Maximum on the flexibility with the arch down and lift up to the vertical. So a score of 172.9833 as I'm sure you can hear. And well, she's waited a long, long time. Last to swim in front of a home crowd. We have Oriane Gelardon from France. Technically strong. The theme of this routine is madness. And what a welcome she is getting from the crowd. Yeah, nice. Showing the unbalanced move to raise the difficulty. Airborne weight seven, the maximum. Lovely musicality there. The game's really spot on with the music. Executed well. on the combined spin and the continuous spin and the nine rotations all together. Maximum on the flexibility at the start of this hybrid. Well, the crowd loved it. She had a very long wait before coming out here and performing, but what a welcome she did get as she took center stage. She's technically very strong. On the coach card, the degree difficulty was a 21.40. This was originally choreographed to another piece of music but uh, Orianne didn't like it very much, so we changed it at fairly short notice. And uh, the coaches, well, didn't sound like they were too happy about it, so they left her to, uh, to find a new piece of music. And I, well, I think she chose well. Lovely dive into the pool as well. Coached by Laurie Aubrey and Pascal Meyer, 17 years of age took a bronze at the Junior World Championships, sixth at the Senior European Championships and sixth at the Senior World Championships. So such a talent for the future. Really love this movement. 
I thought it should have had bonuses for travel, but I don't think so. Oh, no, it was on the coach's card. Great height here. Really held the vertical line well. Seventh place. Three difficulties stayed the same. Two hundred one point oh eight seven five, which I'm sure you heard. So that concludes the solo technical event this morning. We will be moving on to the men's solo technical event very shortly. So that will be starting in about 10 minutes or so. So please join, join us for that. So just over 15 minutes break now before we take go through to the men's solo event. So just a recap on the unconfirmed results. First, Yukiko Inui from Japan. Second, Martina Fidena from Ukraine. Third, Iris Tio Casas from Spain. Closely followed by Kate Shortman from Great Britain. Audrey Lamoth from Canada. Fifth, Vasiliki Alexandri from Austria in the sixth place. But as I say, those are unconfirmed results at the moment. Victoria Reichover, having taken the bronze yesterday, seventh in the technical event. As we get a chance to review some of the highlights from today's solo technical. So do please join us again at about 11.15 Central European time for the men's technical solo event. Incredible right at the end there. Lovely pictures of slow motion here. 